Yo, what's going on guys, it's Shoot and Run here, and today we have another Black Ops Zombies gun review, and today we're going to rev be reviewing this bad boy. So this gun right here is the ray gun, um, it's been, uh, in every, it's been in every Zombies game since World at War, um, on Notchner and Toten, and it was actually the first implemented, uh, Wonder Weapon in Zombies, and this gun is, uh, pretty powerful for, a uh, Wonder Weapon, and considering that it was the first, it's still in... Uh, every Blackout Zombies game, so that's kind of pretty cool. Um, this gun is... A lot of people seem to like it, but a lot of people seem to hate it at the same time. It comes with 20 rounds and uh, 200 extra rounds, so that's 10 extra clips for you. And the reason some people hate this gun and some people like it is that Treyarch likes to patch this gun in different ways according to games. So, World at War, this gun was... Uh, really good. People over, overall enjoyed this gun and really liked it, really liked to have it. The splash damage was great, the damage was great, the amount of ammo, and it's just, you know, it was a fun goal to strive to, trying to get the ray gun and trying to, you know, pack punch it and see how long it could last. That's what people liked about it. And then once Black Ops came out, they kind of changed this gun up a bit, and they, I think they reduced the splash damage, so it wasn't as powerful as it was in the world at war, um, zombies. So... You know, some people didn't like that um, because you had to more, you had to rely more on direct impact, which could only kill about two zombies, um, depending on the splash damage. And you know, splash damage wasn't that effective in Black Ops. You would have to shoot about maybe three times on the ground to uh, kill a, a nice little group of zombies. When on World at War, you only had to shoot like two to kill kill like a whole train. So they did uh, nerf the ray gun in Black Ops. Black Ops 2, I um, I believe it's exactly like the Black Ops 1. I think they, I think Treyarch found a happy medium for them. I think they thought the World at War uh, ray gun was overpowered, so um, they turned down the splash damage. And you know, you get used to it after two games. World at War, once you uh, leaped from World at War to Black Ops, it was a really big change. And uh, personally, I didn't like how they had to nerf the ray gun because I just didn't see what it like. I didn't see how it was worth it because. In the first place, you don't get a lot of points using it. And, um, you know, if you can't kill as many zombies as you were able to before, it's not that great. So we're going to hop in and throw it in this pack punch here. Cost five grand. It's going to turn from the ray gun to the Porter's X2 ray gun. Um, and this gun, you don't, in you don't increase uh, your overall rounds, but you do increase the clip size and the damage on this gun becomes increasingly powerful. So... As you can see, it took two shots for this zombie on round 11, which is kind of odd for uh, Wonder Weapon, because sometimes I could get one shot kill, sometimes it's two shot like that. So I think it kind of, like, and I'll be hitting them straight in the chest, and sometimes either their arm will just fall off. So I don't know, I don't know, the gun's kind of weird with the hit detection. But this gun, it's really powerful pack punched, especially on the high rounds, you could still take out a large train. Um, a bad thing about this ray gun um, this wonder weapon that you that you experience in the higher rounds, like 15, is that you can make a lot of crawlers with this gun, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because say uh, say you want to go run around the map and maybe get some pe uh, some perks and jungernog and peck punch some stuff. You know, it's good to have a crawler. You could just shoot uh, one of these rounds at the ground. You can make a decent three crawlers if you're running a nice train. But it could also be a bad thing that, because if you're running a train in a very uh, tight pl uh, place like this on a bar, you could easily block off an entire area with a load of crawlers. And trust me, that's happened to many people many times um, and made them lose on really high rounds and it's probably upset a lot of people. So, you know, that's something that you have to be careful with this ray gun is that you can make crawlers and in the end crawlers always mess you up they'll always mess you up if you have a lot of them so i don't know the zombies in this game were just flying at me so yeah but you know that's something really that you have to watch out when you're using this gun is to you have to watch out for the crawlers you have to watch out make sure you don't get stuck in the corner um and, you know, even even without crawlers, on especially running bar, I get stuck a lot of times. So, you know, that's that's just added, uh, that's just an added precaution you have to take when you have extra crawlers. Um, the splash damage on this gun towards yourself is hazardous sometimes. If you're in, if you're stuck in a corner, um, this is the last gun you'd want to use. It'll, it will get you out of that situation, 
but most likely in the end it will kill you. So that's something to keep in mind when you're using this gun and you're running really tight corners is that it can kill you and it will kill you easily if you don't have jug. So but overall this gun is really good. It, I probably think it's still one of the best wonder weapons that they have come out with. I don't think they've come out with any other like groundbreaking wonder weapons that have been amazing other than this ray gun and the wonder waff which they took out because it's had bugs that uh it reduced your health when you had jug. So, you know, that's kind of that's kind of why they took it out, I think. And I don't think they were able to fix that, so they just took that out to uh, altogether. But I don't think there have been any other significant wonder weapons that have been as ultimate as the ray gun or the wonder waff. So yeah guys, that was my uh, gun review on the ray gun. Um, if you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out. And uh, thanks for, thank you for watching. Peace out guys.